Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Pooja Rawat and in today's session, I'll be sharing some tips that you should keep in mind if you're going for an interview. Alright, so first thing that I would like to mention is practice good non-verbal communication. Your non-verbal communication is the first thing that demonstrates your confidence without even uttering a word. Okay, without bole, you can impress the panelist. Right, you can make a good impression by standing straight, by walking straight, by making proper eye contact with the uh, panelist. Right, so it shows your confidence. This first non-verbal impression can be a great beginning, or it might be a quick ending to your interview. All right, so practice good non-verbal communication. Second thing is dress for the job. I've already taken a session two days back regarding what should we wear if, uh, if we are going for an interview, right? Both for the male candidate and the female candidate. So I've taken a, a session there. You can watch that, all right? And uh, yeah, you should be formal. You should look formal. You should uh, look professional. You should make a serious impression uh, before the panelist, all right? So wear proper uh, uniform, all right? Or proper dress for the interview. Then third, or I would say the most crucial interview tip that I could give you is listen. Listen properly. Listen everything that your interviewer is saying. He is giving you or he or she is giving you some information either directly or indirectly. And if you are not hearing it, then you are missing a major opportunity. Alright. A good communication skill ki jab hum baat karte, to good communication skill ka matlab se bolna hi nahi hota. Yes. So good communication skill also include listening and letting the person know, right? The next person that the person that is sitting next to you. Let that person know that you heard what uh, what he is saying, right? Observe the interviewer and try to match his style, his pace, like what you want to uh, hear. Just have an idea. Okay. कई बार ऑब्जर्व करके भी तुम्हें पता चल जाता है कि हां सामने वाला जो इंटरव्यूअर है वो आपसे सुनना क्या चाहता है ठीक है बी पॉजिटिव बी असर्टिव जो भी आप पॉइंट अपना मेक कर रहे हैं वहां पर देन द अनदर थिंग इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज नो योर जॉब नो योर जॉब मींस नो योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आप किस जॉब के लिए अप्लाई कर रहे हैं ठीक है आप किस जॉब के लिए ये इंटरव्यू दे रहे हैं यू शुड हैव अ गुड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ योर रोल Right, you can go if you're going for this Nabard grade A interview. Then go through the website of Nabard. Uh, try to understand its role, its function, and try to understand what opportunities it can hold for you if you are going. Uh, if you select in this organization, what would be your long-term goal? Where where would you see yourself after five years? That right. So these are the questions that you should ask yourself. All right. Now another thing is don't talk too much. Okay, listen what the interviewer is saying, what he is asking. Try to answer in the minimum words, uh, in the effective words. Right? Don't talk too much. And telling the interviewer more than he needs to know could be fatal. All right. So just tell him what he actually wants to know and what he actually needs to know. Just uh, frame your answer in the minimum possible words. Right? Or ye aap kaise kar sakte? you have to prepare yourself before. Okay, so prior preparation for an interview uh, can help you in the in this scenario, right? So, जो भी possible interview questions हैं, उनको answer करने की आप पहले से ही तैयारी कर सकते हैं by giving some mocks and all, right? You can uh, give some mocks and you can make a note of, for example, 50 questions, 50 probable question that is normally asked in the interview. ठीक है, हो सकते हैं technical question आप miss कर दें, पर जितने भी HR type question होते हैं that you can uh, prepare well beforehand, all right? So prepare those questions, practice answering those questions so that you can uh, give your answer in a minimum possible words, all right? Now, don't sound too familiar, right? This is a professional meeting. You don't have to laugh or smile unnecessarily, right? So this is not about making a friend. You have to show some energy and enthusiasm, but don't smile too much. All right, and uh, asking one or two questions is enough, but you don't have to ask many questions uh, to the interviewer, right? 
just to show your energy or enthusiasm all right know your place as a candidate who is looking for a job so this is very important all right then use appropriate language you should always use professional language while you're answering your uh, question whatever question has been asked to you you should uh, give answer in a professional language during the interview right don't use any slang words right or give any reference to any race or religion or the age right so you should be very precise what you are answering what words you are using right keep this in mind and then the another important thing that i would say is very important uh, if you're going for an interview is your attitude attitude matters a lot it plays a key role in your success in the interview success this is a personality test and these panelists are there to uh, judge your personality all right so attitude plays a very key role uh, you should maintain a fine balance between uh, the confidence and the professionalism and the modest right you can't be too reserved right and you can't show over confidence so you have to keep a balance between this over confidence thing and the reserve thing right you can't be too reserved you have to uh, speak you have to answer all the questions or you might say that you don't know right uh, it's totally your choice and yeah so this was very important then the next thing that i would like to mention is take care to answer the question okay agar interview is asking for an example for example agar aapne prior koi work experience aapko hai for example you have, if you have worked in an mnc or in corporate uh, organization or in a bank and interviewer asking you some question related to your prior work or your uh, experience so he might be trying to understand your behavior right so this is these questions are like behavioral interview questions ke category mein aate in which an interview trying to understand your personality your work experience right so you have to give certain example you have to answer these question you have to give a certain example which can show your ability to work uh which could talk about your skills that it, that you have used uh in your prior work right so try to answer these question uh, very skillfully right try to make a good impression try to prove uh, that you are able or you are a perfect candidate or suitable candidate for this job since you already have faced uh these these scenarios in your prior work experience in your prior job right then the last thing i would like to mention is that uh, if a person if an interview asked you that if you want to have any question right some panelist ask you if you have any question then most of the candidates say no right it it's not a wrong answer i would say ki no bolna galat nahi hota right but part of knowing how to interview is also to ask question that demonstrates your interest in a job theek okay? hai so you can ask a question all right and this gives you an opportunity to understand that if this is the right place for you you can ask you can uh, ask one or two question uh, just to show that you are interested in this job you are very much interested in the job and you want to know if this is the right place for you or not right then then the last thing okay this is the last thing don't appear desperate okay for example is tarike ke words ki please hire me i need this job or uh, uh, this is my dream job i can't live without this job theek is tarike ke jo words hote hain statements hote hain you don't you have to strictly avoid these uh, words or these type of sentences right just reflect three c's very important three c's are cool calm and confident you have to be cool you have to be calm and you have to show yourself as an uh, as a confident candidate all right so three c's these are very very important right so right so these are the tips that i wanted to share with you if uh, you're going for an interview and just keep these points in mind and be good to go all right so yeah this was all about today's session i hope you like it in case you have any queries do post it down and i'll see you in the next session till then keep working hard keep studying all the best